Welcome to the first episode of Inside the Lines brought to you by the Jacksonville Onslow Sports Commission. My name is Ashley Backert and I'm the Executive Director and your host for today's episode. In this program we're going to be highlighting the Marine Corps Half Marathon as well as the Onslow County Recreation Soccer Cup and the Big Tournament, a regional golf event for golfers around the nation. First, we're going to take you on board Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune to learn more about the Marine Corps Half Marathon. We're here at the Hit Center, and I'm actually going to have you explain what the Hit Center is and what exactly you do because it's very entailed and detailed. Well, our Hit Center is our high intensity tactical training. It is actually one of the uh, 10 facilities here on Camp Lejeune that uh, fitness offers for uh, the Marines, uh, active duty personnel, and authorized patriots to come in and use our facility. It's actually a functional facility. It's a little different than our regular gyms, uh, a little bit different style to where they can come in and do functional fitness um, and functional style training within the HIT Center. Excellent. Well, we're really here to talk about an amazing event you guys have coming up on September 21st, the Marine Corps Half Marathon. Yes, Give us a taste of what runners should be expecting with this course. Well, we're race. really excited about the uh, half marathon that uh, Camp Lejeune offers. This uh, is a uh, course and a race that's been happening since the late 80s, and I believe eight, 1987. Um, it is uh, an event that is hand, an, held annually on uh, in September every year. Um, it is actually a, a, a nice, fast, flat race. Uh, runners can expect to... Uh, you know, have the opportunity to run a, uh, a course within uh, a military installation here at uh, Marine Corps Base uh, Camp Lejeune. Uh, and they will be able to experience um, at any level, whether you're an experienced half marathoner or whether you're a beginner uh, runner, uh, the course is flat and fast. They'll be able to run side by side with Marines, active duty Marines, U.S. Marines. It doesn't get any better than that. Absolutely. Not only that, but they'll be able to experience the camaraderie, the encouragement, and the motivation that these Marines and these families show on a military installation. This course winds through the military base. It goes through different portions of base housing. There will be families out in their front yard cheering runners on as they go by. The camaraderie that they will uh, experience and the motivation they will experience will be something that, you know, is far more than what any other event that uh, I believe is, is taken. They will really enjoy this. Excellent. Now, when a runner registers, what are they going to be getting, I guess? What's a part of the package of registering? Well, registering, you get a couple things. Uh, you know, this year, we're actually uh, partnered up with Home Suites, Home to Suites, mm -hmm. and Olive Garden out in town. They will be hosting a, uh, a pasta dinner the night before the event um, to any of the runners who want to uh, participate in this dinner and also have the option to purchase other dinners uh, for non-runners, family members, anybody who wants to experience that dinner with the runners. Um, they will also be at this event um, packet pickup. They'll be able to get their packets out there okay. in town and um, late registration. Well, what comes in the packet is a couple different things. We actually have a shirt. We, we have awesome shirts at all of our events. So they will get like a dry wick material shirt. Mm -hmm. And they will also get a medal. I actually brought a couple uh, medals from uh, the year before, 2011 to 2012. So as you can see, we had the 2011, then we had the 2012. We also, uh, each race, each event, we will have a medal for every finisher. So it's, it's exciting to uh, be able to get that in the package. Now, I know this is a part of the Grand Prix series. Can you give us a little bit on what the Grand Prix series entails? I know there's a point system. Absolutely. How does that work? Sure will, Ashley. The Grand Prix series is um, a series of different events um, that are held among Camp Lejeune, and there's an event held at uh, the Marine Corps uh, Air Station Cherry Point. Um, when you sign up for these events, um, the half marathon being one, we hold seven here on Camp Le Lejeune alone, mm -hmm. you will get points, and your points will tally up towards the end of the year for as many Grand Prix Series events you do, and you have the categories of being overall winner for the Grand Prix Series, first, second, or third, or overall. Uh, for the series. These events actually um, is, is a great experience because you know we have different entities of the base that we offer. Mm -hmm. We do different areas of the base for these events. Um, you know you'll be able to experience the trails and the courses that you know 
these active duty military personnel actually use to train on. Mm -hmm. You're going to be on those same courses. You're going to be doing some of those obstacles. Um, you know, we have a February uh, Extreme Endurance Challenge at a Camp Devil Dog uh, School of Infantry. These, uh, this is the same course, the same trail that the uh, the young Marines uh, actually train on. Um, so that experience alone, I think, is, is great for anybody to experience. We have um, an extreme St. Paddy's uh, challenge at a Courthouse Bay area. Just another portion of uh, the base that you get to experience and, and see that what our active duty personnel, the U.S. Marines, actually train on. You get that same experience and that same motivation off of these events. Excellent. Now, as an organizer, one tip to runners getting ready to run the Marine Corps half. Well, I would say, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I would do some training ahead of time. Um, you know, obviously with a half marathon, you have to build yourself up to mm -hmm. the, the, the mileage of it, 13.1 miles. But the half marathon itself, though, is our premier event. And, um, you know, we're excited about that because we also have, for the half marathon, the opportunity uh, for the top male and female finisher to have paid slots for the 2014 Marine Corps so Marathon. Their slots are paid for the top male and female. We also, in addition on that, have three other slots that will be paid for the uh, 2014 Marine Corps uh, Marathon in Washington, D.C. to any finisher of the half marathon. Any finisher that uh, wants to participate in the, this drawing for uh, those three extra slots has the, uh, the right to participate and get that slot paid for for the I mean for the marathon. That's an amazing addition and I know there are a lot of runners out there that are excited hearing that news um, because the Marine Corps Marathon does sell out in two and a half hours. Um, it's just a very popular race. They call it the, the people's race. Right. Um, so having that partnership, I'm sure, has been very beneficial to you guys. It has very much so. And it gives the opportunity, like I said, you know, not only for people to come in and do this race for us. Um, I mean, that's what we're here for. If we, you know, Whatever we can do to offer the great experience to, uh, you know, civilian personnel that has never had the opportunity to experience a military lifestyle or any, you know, military base. I mean, what better than to come onto a U.S. Marine uh, course base, you know, the ultimate fighting uh, Marine, mm -hmm. you know, and be right beside them and run with them and train with them and, and, and do this event and have the opportunity there to, to maybe have a slot in the 2014 marathon held in Washington, D.C. Uh, we're very excited about it and we're glad we're able to uh, offer that to them. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. And if you're interested in participating in this race, please visit MCC, MCCS Lejeune. And for the Grand Prix series, is there a Better link um, website. No, it's, you can go on www.mccslejourn.com and click on the uh, the Grand Prix series link. Excellent, and that'll get you registered for all the races. Again, race date is September 21st. Register now. Um, the spots are filling up, and I know you guys are excited oh, to showcase excited. this to as many people as possible. So, thank you again I for everything, the opportunity. and we will be back. As a runner myself, the Marine Corps Half Marathon is a great event. I ran it last year, the very first event I ran, and nothing sends more chills up my spine than seeing our active duty Marines running side by side with the community members. It truly is a wonderful experience, and I hope you all get to take part in it. Next, let's talk about the Onslow County Recreation Soccer Tournament. Hi, I'm here with John Davis, President of Swansboro Soccer Association and Tournament Director for the Onslow County Recreation Cup, um, our first year holding the soccer tournament. Welcome, thank you for coming right out here. and being with us. A couple of questions, because um, we want to make sure the community knows about this wonderful event. It is the first year. Yes. How excited are you guys to be hosting this? Oh, I got goosebumps talking about it. I'm really pumped up. Uh, it's the first year that we've done this, and we've got... Um, let's see six of the seven clubs involved I believe that are participating Excellent. and it's going to be a great opportunity for the kids that play recreation to experience that recreational tournament environment emphasis on the tournament the rec kids don't get to do the tournaments quite as much as some of the higher levels mm -hmm. and with this age it'll be perfect for the kids and the parents to get that experience 
So the relationship with all six clubs coming together, what has been the feedback from them for this tournament? Well, we've got a great working relationship. We're having a good time with it. We've, are, you know, we've had so many meetings that we're, we're actually getting tired of seeing each other <laughs> a little bit. But uh, everybody's working hard. Everybody's making phone calls, doing, pulling their weight, and it's just a really good thing. We, the soccer community in Oslo County is really tight, and we're it's a group of just really good volunteers for the most part. And they're good people, and so it's it's been fun. Excellent. Now I know that this is something that not everybody has enough teams in their age group. So how are you guys planning on tackling that small challenge? Well, we've been able to to go. We're going all the way down to U seven mm -hmm. through U ten. So I think that'll at least get every club an opportunity to get a team in. For um, you know the rec is. Usually in the rec, you're going to have a, at least one team in each age. So it's just a matter of if the parents can get free that weekend, the coaches mm -hmm. and such like that. But I think we'll be okay there. Good. Anything that the players and teams that are coming in should expect? Yes. They, the, they're going to experience that competitiveness for the first time in a tournament environment where you're actually going to get a trophy at the end, I think, especially a lot of the younger ones. Yeah. And so that's gonna be exciting, but at the same time, uh, we just have to uh, temper ourselves and remember it's not the World Cup. And uh, it'll be challenging in terms of, you know, they're gonna learn how to count points and do things like they do over in Europe. When you do a tournament like this, oftentimes you're, your advance on points. You don't advance just because you win, and you may win all three games and yet not end up in the championship. And there's things, uh, quirks of tournaments that um, are a legacy from doing, following the European model mm -hmm. that folks will learn. And it's a great experience and it's challenging. And you'll get to see kids that maybe lost their first game win and end up in the championship. So there's a lot of nuances that happen in this style tournament. Excellent. Now, as the tournament director, anything special you want to kind of give a message to people participating or potentially looking at participating in this tournament? Wow. Well, one, get signed up because you're going to have a good time. Uh, two is remember the officials are officials and be easy on them. Uh, and remember to have a good time and enjoy the experience and just uh, spread the word about it, spread the word about soccer because I think uh, this is a great opportunity to see that soccer uh, does a lot of good stuff and uh, it's a great physical health and fitness sport to participate in. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being with us and answering those questions. The Onslow County Recreation Cup is going to be held October 12th and 13th. Um, locations are still to be determined, but please visit our website at josc-nc.com for more information. And if you have any questions, feel free to either call our office or call Swans for a Soccer Association, and Mr. John Davis can answer all your questions. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ashley. October 12th is going to be a busy day, as you can already see. We've got county recreation soccer going on with the youth, but we have a great event for adults as well. So we're going to head over to the golf course and check out the big tournament regional that's going to be hosted by the Jacksonville Country Club. Hi, we're here at the Jacksonville Country Club golf course with Matt Pavia, head golf pro here, and just wanted to touch base. Um, we have a great tournament coming in on October 12th with the big tournament regional. What made you guys want to be involved with this tournament? Well, uh, I think anytime there's a big event in Jacksonville that's related to golf, we feel like we want it to be staged here at, at JCC. We feel like we've got the best venue for anything like that, best golf course, best facilities. So we'd always like to be involved in something like that um, and, and just try to put a, a good face to the club in Jacksonville in general. Excellent. Now, in terms of, I know you guys have been going through some green changes and stuff. Give us an idea of what these golfers are going to be looking at with the course. Our greens restoration will be complete here in the next week or two. Um, you know, some of them we could probably get on right now. So by the time we get another month from now into October, you're going to see great conditions. October in this area is a great time to play golf. The grass is still green. Um, green speeds quicken up and everything is in great shape. So it's an ideal time to play golf in the Carolinas. Good. And then your board obviously helped kind of approve the decision making, but what are you guys most looking forward to with having 144 golfers on this beautiful course? Uh, well, you know, I think it, it's kind of twofold. One is just the excitement of a big event like that. I think all the members really get excited about that and they like to come out and see what's going on. Uh, and just the exposure that it gives the club, you know, to, to everybody in the region, just to see what a great 
facility and golf course we have here and, and um, just show that we are probably one of the best facilities in this area. Definitely are. Just to give you guys an idea at home, the Big Tournament Regional is a charity amateur golf event, um, largest in the world. It is open to anyone that wants to come in and play for the chance to win $10,000 for their charity of choice. We are one of eight regionals, and we're very excited about this. Um, and the golfers will actually be competing to go to Las Vegas for the national championship. Um, we're even more excited because the course here is going to be highlighted on ESPN um, and when they broadcast live with the national championship. So this is great exposure for Absolutely. you guys um, as well as for the county and the city of Jacksonville. Any kind of tips um, for golfers that are just getting into it and maybe want to participate in something like this? Uh, as far as this tournament or just golf in general? Golf in general. Let's go very broad. Uh, make it fun. It, there, there's, you don't have to keep score. Golf is a fun social event. Um, you know, all you want to do is come out, enjoy, spend some time with friends, uh, and, and don't put any expectations on yourself about a score or a certain way that you need to play. Come out, have fun, enjoy, uh, and I think that'll keep it, keep it fun and, and keep your expectations low. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for Absolutely. talking with us. And for more information on this tournament, visit TheBiggestTournament.com or visit our website at JOSC-NC.com. Again, this event's going to be held on October 12th. Um, 8, p or 8 a.m. shotgun start. Um, we have flyers in the golf shop here, or the pro shop, sorry. Um, and you can also contact Matt with more, for more information. Thank you for joining us on the first edition of Inside the Lines, brought to you by the Jacksonville Onslow Sports Commission, where freedom and sports come together.